What's the crack, lads? With V3.3, we have got a load of new upcoming legends. Check them out. Let me know your favorites. These legends are usually released on Monday. So you usually get three legends that are part of a pack, either a Spanish league pack, Italian league pack, any of those. And they have now added a lot of new legends to the database. All of these players that you see here from Cannavaro, Makaleli, Raikard, Baggio, Romario, there's some really good uh, players that are being added. I think Baggio and Romario are probably the two that people are looking forward to most. Now, all of these cards still include um, these, including these cards which have already got a booster that's in the database that haven't been released. So the likes of Cruyff, the likes of Maldini and Cantona, they have been released. But Romanegi, Schmeichel, and of course Van Nistelrooy and so on and so forth, they have not been released yet. So they're still to come. There's a lot of cards still to come in here. But we're going to be focusing on the new ones here that have been added to the database as of today, the 25th of January. Baggio and Romario are going to be two huge ones. Makalele, another booster version of these. Whether these will get all endgame level boosters or not remains to be seen. Stevie G there down as a CMF as well. We'll take a look at their profiles in a second. Skolzi, we've got a new Neymar card as well as a Cafu card for the Brazilian contingent with the Nielsen rounding that off as well. Belletti from Barcelona, Cardoba from Inter Milan. You've got some lovely cards here and some new unique cards. We also have this pack here that's going to be coming as a big time. Depending on when they release that, that'll tie in with the AC Milan big time players. We've had Bayern, we've had Barca. Of course, we had, you know, De Jong and Araujo and Sergio Roberto with Barcelona. And we had Musiala, um, who was the pick of them, Kimmich, and uh, who else was in the Bayern pack? I can't remember right now. Oh, Davies, Davies. So it looks like we're going to be getting three of these as well. Now, it's also interesting that there's a fourth player there. So it will be interesting to see what happens with that fourth player because we did have Muller in the DB as well, but he never released. And then on from there as well, there's a couple of players here that look to be big time cards that will probably be part of a club big time pack. So it is interesting, right? Scolzi is going to look decent as well with the kicking power. You can pause this video, lads. I want to keep this video short and sweet. You can pause this on the stats if you want to see. Obviously, the player levels. There's not really much point in talking about the player levels yet because if you were to leave Scolzi at this, I mean, you would have Scolzi with 95 finishing. You'd have him with 95 passing. You'd have him also with 95 kicking power. Like, there's a lot of levels with this card if this card was actually to be what it is here. It would be a beastly card that you could train in multiple different ways. So the level Levels will be finalized when the actual player comes out, and it always is. We also have, on top of that, Cannavaro. We have got Makalele. You can see Makalele's stats there. You've got Rijkaard, as we see here. You've got Baggio. Baggio's going to be an interesting one. Even with 29 levels, I think Baggio needs to be kind of, I would say, an attacking midfielder slash SS. That'll probably be where he goes here. Um, we do have his creative playmaker. That's his play style at the moment. Whether that changes or not, it could. Depends on what booster he will get as well. I mean, he could get a plus two, a plus three, a plus five. Could we see these guys have new boosters? That could be like plus four, plus five. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It's obviously still open to, you know, until they're actually released, take the, you know their stats everything with a pinch of salt we can you can see these change uh, obviously what's on the database doesn't 100% come out it's like 98% um, of what usually comes out but they can change things as well as with that old Neymar Santos card but this card looks really really nice you've got passing you've got low um low passing and high pass or lofted passing you've got really nice dribbling stats pace wise he's actually not too bad either I mean you're going to be getting balance really high offensive awareness really high and of course, you will also get his speed at around 85. There's lots to love about this card, apart from the finishing, which I think is more than enough at 85 with this card. Plus, you're talking about the booster. So you won't need to probably train up the dribbling anywhere past 86, I would say, because you get a plus two, four to that. And then, of course, you might get a plus four to the finishing as, uh, as well with the, with the boosters, with the manager boost and the normal booster. So yeah, there's some interesting cards. Roberto Carlos, one of my favorite players in the game. He looks like an absolute beast. Stevie G, of course, as well what do you think of when you think of stevie g shooting i think they've really got the grips grip grips or got a grasp on the cards now what the cards were good at i do think they make some mistakes sometimes with the cards but obviously that's just normal you know obviously we're not we all have favorite players i mean if i was making a collar card i'd probably put them at 99 everything so we do have to uh remember that a lot of these cards have multiple versions you've got neymar this neymar is very interesting boys i think the reason why they're bringing out this neymar is because, you know, a lot of people probably got the free Neymar, 
But I think this Neymar is going to be like a way for them to have this Brazilian pack. If they drop a Brazilian pack with these boys, Neymar, Romario, Cafu, and then maybe the Nielsen that's in there as well. I think it could be Romario, Neymar, and Cafu would be a brilliant, brilliant pack to open if you are into opening cards. If these cards don't, you know, really do it for you, they're not going to do it for you overnight. You know, it just depends whether you, you like the cards and opening cards. But again, with Neymar, you've got 88 finishing. Obviously, this is all without the booster. His passing can go 88, which is ridiculous. His dribbling can go and tight possession can go 88. His balance can go 88 with his acceleration. And then you're still having 88 into the speed. Like at 33 levels, this card would be absolutely broken. So it is going to be interesting how they balance it. Romario is going to be a beast as well. Probably my pick of the players is going to be Romario with this booster, whatever booster he does end up getting, because he can get that 88 type possession. He can also get that 88 acceleration, offensive awareness, and accelerate and uh, balance. And of course, he's still no slouch. This is going to be a beastly card. Cafu, Danielson, Cardoba, Belletti, Perd Mertesecker, Ambrosini. There's loads of cards here, lads. There's loads of cards, including these big time, which we'll probably see sooner than later. So let me know what you guys think, lads. Let me know who your favorite card is going to be. And uh, we'll be back very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what card is your favorite that you are going to actually spin for. And let me know maybe the cards don't interest you. Whether you want to see a way to grind for these. Maybe they'll bring them out that you're able to get them in the football shop. Or for GP in the new update that's going to be coming. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys in a bit.